Which one would Kohen mean? Does it mean the priest of Midian? Does it mean the sheik of Midian? Because Kohen can mean one of two things. Rashi in, in, uh, by Potiphar, he also was called Kohen. So over there Rashi says, Kohen by Yisro, he was a priest. means idolatry. Yisro, the Kohen Midian, who was the, who's the father of Moshe. Eish kol asher, osa l'kib Moshe. All that Hashem had done to Moshe, Uli Lamo, and to Yisrael, his people, Yehotzi Hashem is from Mitzrayim, that Hashem had taken Yisrael out of Mitzrayim. Rashi. Vayishma Yisrael, Mashmo Shomo Bo. What did he hear which drew him into the desert? Kriyas Yamsuf. Mochem Samolik. If you read Rashi, from Rashi, it seems that it's one opinion, except in the Gemara, it's two separate opinions. One opinion says it was Kriyas Yamsuf, mm-hmm. and the other one says it was Molik. So the obvious question is, Kriyas Yamsuf is impressive. Mechemes Molik, why is that something which would cause Yisro to leave his glory, so to say, and come into the desert to become part of Klal Yisro? Mechemes Molik. Yisro, Sheva Shemes Nikrolo, we find he has seven names. Ruel, Yese, Yisro, Chovev, Chever, Keni, Potiel. Yeser, why is it, was he called Yeser? Al Shem Shiite Parsha Achsvatora, Ato He advised Moshe about, about the judicial system. Yisro, Shemes Gayer, Mekim Mitzis, Tosifilo, Os Achas Al Shmo. He was Yeser, became Yisro when he converted Chovev. Shechivim Satora, that he esteemed the Torah itself. Bechovev who Yisro shnei ma mechovev chosid Moshe, Yishom Ruel Oviv Shel Yisro. Ruel was the father of Yisro. Mahu Omer, where Tavoru El Ruel Avian says that doors of Yisro they came to Ruel Avian. Shetinokus Korin Lavian Lavi Avian Abo. Young children they call their grandfather Abo Bisifri. Chosid Moshe, over here we're identifying Yisro as Chosid Moshe. Kohen kan ho Yisro miskabit be Moshe. Ani Chosid Hamelech, I'm the farmer of the king. Shava ho Moshe told Agdul of Chomov, it was the other way, it was inverted. Moshe, he attributed the greatness to his father in law, Shinemar, Vayoshua Yese Chosno. Could have said the Yosheval Yeser. What's the host now? Moshe Yisrael. All that Hashem had done to Moshe or Yisrael. Shokul Moshe connected to Yisrael. It's interesting. I mean, you have to understand simply what this means. It says when Yisro had heard all that Hashem had done to Moshe and Yisroel. Now, what did Yisro hear? Did he hear something specific about Moshe? So, so, what? You heard two events. That the Torah identifies Moshe together with Yisrael that tells me Yishokul can I get But the question is, what did he hear? All that Hashem had done to him on behalf of Moshe and on behalf of Klal Yisrael. I mean, Yisrael, when he heard it, Moshe was part of Klal Yisrael. So what does it mean? So what the Torah is just saying, factually he heard Moshe is part of Klal Yisrael, except the Torah is just identifying Moshe differently. Right? I mean, seemingly that's what, or is Torah saying that we heard something about Moshe, what Hashem had done on behalf of Moshe, and what he had done on behalf of Kalal Yisro. Sorry, Rabbi, you said that he's already there, or he 
he journeyed because he heard it. Well, this, this Rashi. Shokul, Shokul. He's the equivalent of, of old Klal Yisrael. Shokul, Moshe Kenegi Yisrael. So he heard it before he, he entered the, the, the camp. No, 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 no. It says, heard what Hashem had done to it for Moshe and Yisrael. So when did he hear that? That's your question, right? No, no. That's not the question. The question is, what did he hear? He heard Hashem had, did he hear Hashem had, had done something for Moshe and Yisrael? Is that, okay. Did he hear that? Yes. Well, but what did Hashem do specially for Moshe? What he didn't do for Kalal Yisrael? Well, he, he mentions, uh, there's a couple of things. I think first he says, plus in Moshe. So uh, he's still related to Moshe. So he's still the son-in-law. You would think that they were divorced already, that he and his wife were divorced. But he's saying it's still a... Uh, is still connected. So he's saying, uh, I heard what was done with When they say too much knowledge is dangerous, boy. I, I internalize that to the nth degree. Why? There's no relevance to the hotel discussion. I mean, I ask a simple question. He, he, if he heard it before, so he's saying that the business with the Malik and the business with the splitting of the sea was, was what he heard. So it was a meter connected meter. Uh, he, he's saying, uh, well, it happened definitely because of Klal Yisrael. It has nothing to do with Moshe. I mean, seemingly, he heard Moshe's part of Klal Yisrael, except that the Torah identifies. He heard what Hashem had done to Moshe. Lim Moshe you have a Rashi saying Shokul Moshe. That the Torah. Okay. I think. Torah saying it. Torah saying it. He heard Moshe is one of the 600,000 men above the age of 20. Except that the Torah depicts it. Moshe Yisrael that tells me that he's the equivalent of Kol Yisrael. Right? Even let's say Yisrael thought about uh, Kolif or Aaron. It means nothing. Torah's not going to say what he did on behalf of Aaron and Kol Yisrael. Aaron's part of Kol Yisrael. So he, of course he thought what he did on behalf of my son-in-law and, and, and Kol Yisrael. But what's his son-in-law? So why should Torah identify as Moshe? The answer is because Moshe in reality is the equivalent of Klal Yisrael. What? Good. I just want to communicate it to, to the person on my left. <laughs> okay. We already got it to meet the Kenegad Mida and Kenegad this. And we, could write it, we could write another Nesiva Solem, another Maral. But simple. You don't have to... So then you have to, the question is, why close in Moshe? So Rashi says. You would think. That Rashi said, Chazal, you know, Kampanish Chazal <laughs> says that Yisro is priding himself that he's the father of Moshe. Right. So good, finish. That's why it says Choshen Moshe. But when does he send his, his daughter away? So that there's such a. Does it a, say a word about he sends his daughter away? But we, we understand that when he went to, back to Mitzrayim, that he sends his daughter away. He said, don't bring it, don't bring it. How do you know that? Where does it say that? Uh, where, where does it, until this point, where does it say it? Didn't we have it when... No, 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 no. We're going to have it soon. We haven't read it yet. We haven't read it. And it's in this week's Parsha. It's coming up. What did he hear? What he did on their behalf? He read the Samon of the air of the Amalek. He heard the Yurid Samon. How do you know about Yurid Samon? It's a Kiddush. Right? So Rashi said, last week's Parsha, that when the mud would melt, right? It would, it would do, it would flow into springs, the deer would drink it, the water, and when the nations of the world would trap the deer and they would slaughter them and eat them, they would have, a, they, it would, there would be a taste in the meat which was a semblance of the mud. So the world knew about that. That's how the world knew about the month. Otherwise, how do you know about the month? 
you have a, first of all, the clouds were encapsulated within the Anaya Kavod. Nobody knew what was going on inside the Anaya Kavod, you know that. Of course, it says when they went to fight Amalek, they had to go outside the Onod to fight Amalek. Amalek could, could not penetrate the Onod, could not penetrate the cloud. So the month the they found it was inside the inside the Onod, it wasn't outside the Onod. But he knew Oslem be read someone who bear the bear Amolik. I don't understand it. It was miracle food, as it says. Whatever you, it sustained them and nourished them, or whatever they had in mind that should become. That's what it was. That was the month. Torah tells you it was a little way from the. Well, it went on for 40 years, though. So, before? Then, uh, wouldn't there be more of an opportunity for the world to know what the month was? How do they know? 40 years, you know, that people come back, you're going to communicate with other people. What communication? What communication do they have? No other people than they know. What do you think they, they shared with? What, what communication? There's no there's communication. No other peoples, no. Bedouins, whatever. No, 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 no. Nothing. Kiyotzi Hashem, it concludes, Zugadol al Kulam. This was the greatest miracle of all of them. Here. No, that he took this, took us out. Kiyotzi. It's interesting. What did he originally hear? Rashi says he heard Kriya Shamsa Michal Samod. That's a Yishma. Then he's interpreting his Kolasharoso. All that he had done, you think that's going back on Vayishma, correct? I mean if I would have said Vayishma Yishma, what did he hear? It's Kolasharoso. What is that? Muhammad's Kriya Shams Mikham Samolik. Then he says, No, it's Kolasharoso Lamosha Lishel, that's what? That's the Mun, it's the bear and the Amolik. Now he had a difficulty. Sorry. It starts. What did Yisro hear, which caused him to leave Midian to go into the desert? So Rashi says he heard Kri Shamsa Mechem Samolik. And that's what he heard. Then it says, but if you read the pasuk, all what did Yisro hear? Eis Kol Asher Osa Elokim LeMoshe Yisrael. All that he had done for Moshe Yisrael and Rashi. What did he do for them? It says, Vayishma, what did he hear, what he had done for, to, to Moshe Yisrael? And that's Mon, Be'er, and, and what? And Amalek. Not Kriya Shamsuf. He starts off with Kriya Shamsuf. That's Vayishma. It's called Asheroso. He, he says it's, it's something else. Seemingly, it's, it's one reading. He heard all that Hashem had done. So seemingly, is it the first or is it the second? Simple reading of the Pasuk. Second. Yeah, but it says Amolik again. It says Amolik again. So what does he have to? But it already says. So what does he say? He says also. So how do you know? He didn't come. No, this is Vayishma is called Asherosa. No, you have to still read the pasuk. Vayishma is called Midian because Ace called Asherosa Lokim Lemoshe. Later, when he came, it says he shared with them everything. Right? This is before. This is before he came. Okay, let's leave it right now.